Hey, welcome to the video. So today I'm going to try out some Metal Rescue Rust Remover Bath. They asked me if I wanted to try this, I said of course. Basically it's a bath where you put your rusty parts in it and it removes the rust. They also sent a rust preventative coating called Dry Coat. You apply this to your parts after you have removed the rust and it prevents the parts from rusting again. This is a concentrate. You add it to one gallon of water. And I have the rear rotors off of my Porsche 944 Turbo. These are some newer rotors that I put on, I think just before spring of 2017. Of course, they're starting to rust. I should have painted them because this is a very large surface area and you can see that right through the wheel and it looks kind of ugly. So I'm really happy that Workshop Hero sent Metal Rescue. Here's how it comes in the box. Leak proof bag. So your other Shipments aren't damaged if this stuff leaks in the box. Sometimes fluids leak in the in shipping. Instructions, a couple stickers, shop rag. Can't ever have too many of those. This will take between 2 and 48 hours to de-rust your parts, depending on how rusty the parts are. It's also temperature sensitive, so you'll want to use this in 68 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter. Otherwise, the de-rusting process is going to slow down incredibly. So I'll just pour the gallon in here. Hopefully this will be deep enough to submerge the part of the rotor that I want to de-rust, which is just this area right here. Well, now let's set the rotor in there. I'm just going to do one at a time. Yeah, that might not be enough. If you're gonna buy this stuff to de-rust larger parts like this, you might want to get two of these and do two gallons or more. So I'm actually gonna take this inside where it's warm, because it's like 40 degrees out here, and let this do its thing overnight. Okay, so this one sat overnight. And before you start going crazy, you need to know that when I moved this inside, the fluid splashed on top of the rotor and I didn't wipe it off. So there's like residue of the dried fluid up on there. And that comes off now with a scraper. For the most part, your brake pads will get that off of there. These are really supposed to be fully submerged, but as you know, I only had a gallon worth of the stuff. So it is what it is. So anyway, let's see what this did. <laughs> Oh man. So there's our treated area. Pretty nice. I'm gonna get some high heat paint and paint that before I put these back on the car. Well, I'm gonna carefully place the other rotor into the bath. I'll come back in two hours and see what this stuff can do in two hours. Okay, it's two hours later. Temperature, 58 degrees Fahrenheit for anyone interested. A bit less than the recommended temperature, but I don't have much control over it. So it is what it is. Let's see what this did at two hours. There's what happens after two hours in 10 degrees cooler temperatures than recommended. Well, anyway, you saw it before, but this is the result of soaking it overnight at 58 degrees. This product is amazing. I'm going to be buying some more of it. But for now, I'm going to put this old rotor in here so I can get a good thumbnail. All right. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. That'll be pretty good. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> yes, that is definitely what I'm looking for. Wow. The cool thing is, is that this is a water-based product. 
it's reusable. You can put it back into a container. I'm gonna use my gallon container to store it. It's environmentally friendly. It's biodegradable, contains no VOCs, solvents, acids, or hazardous ingredients. It's directly sewerable in most areas unless hazardous wastes, oils, paints, heavy metals have been introduced. Of course, your parts might be oily or greasy and if your fluid becomes t contaminated, you need to figure out how to dispose of this properly if you're gonna dispose of it. Remember, it's reusable. Put it in a container and use it again and again until it becomes too heavily contaminated with rust and other debris from your parts. And we got some paint on there. So if you want to get some metal rescue, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time.